Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. Hello, and again, welcome to the LB video called Smokescreen by Serious Business. Yes, we're checking out another Serious Business map requested by Demon Risen. This one says, a map with two fairly easy puzzles using Fourth Reaper's Compressed Smoke Field. A field which blocks the player, but not cubes, set in my custom theme. Thank you to LP Freaky 90 for some skybox models, and to Jose Pez DJ for button base signage textures. Right, let's get started. This is the first video. I mean, well, actually, Duskers was his first video, but this is the first Portal 2 video on my new Ryzen 7 1700 system. So if there are any recording issues at all, then uh, it's Cube definitely OBS's fault. Cube remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. I'm still recording at 720p, 25 frames per second, just for the sake of giving OBS the benefit of the doubt. But if there are any more issues, then we'll know it's not the system, it's OBS. And I can go back to that bug report where I was initially having issues. Right, there's lots of portable surfaces everywhere. Let's go ahead and just throw this cube through here like a normal person. Get out of there. Uh, I'll just bump into it through the fizzler. There we go. Perfect. Amazing. This is just a tutorial room, and then we'll get to the real puzzle, and I'm a- Whoa! That was amazing. I'm not Please quite sure how I did that. Particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. Yeah, yeah, I get it. But how did I do that? Did I bump the cube or something? And that caused... Wait, what? Did it, like, do that? Did it, like, shoot me up a little bit when I went through the portal? I'm not sure what's going on here, but something... Something weird definitely happened. Also, how did I... How did I jump that far before? Well, anyway, enough distraction. Let's continue on with the puzzle. More tutorial. Interesting. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. This is interesting. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation... <laughs> yeah, yeah, we get it, we get it. Right, so, this is interesting because normally, in the BTS areas, the tubes are like, either vertical, horizontal, or they're spirally curvy or whatever. But here, they're all at weird angles. That's not something you normally see in the campaign or other little camera maps. I actually really like the way that looks. It's got a very striking and interesting look to it. Very nice work, Serious Business. Right, this gets us a reversed funnel. Gotcha. That responds to cube. There's our exit condition. We want a laser and a cube on that button. We can put a cube through the portal surface here, if we so desire. Interesting. How might we get a cube in here, though? Hmm... I can see that from in here. Ah, let's see, let's- let's do... Let's do... this. There we go. And... Oh, well hang on, I think I might need to do this, like, directly above the button. Depending on how things turn out, I'm not sure, but just in case. Let's do that. Whoa, I didn't mean to zoom in there. I'm using a rather crappy wireless mouse right now, because my Bluetooth mouse can't be connected because I forgot when building my computer that the motherboard does not have built-in Bluetooth and Wi-Fi support. And the Bluetooth Wi-Fi adapter card does not get here till later, so I have to use a wireless mouse with a USB dongle, and the signal is terrible for some reason. It, it likes to stutter and, and drop clicks and stuff, and yeah. The scroll wheel's also weird in a messed up kind of way. Let's see. Uh, what would be the best way to do this, actually? I just do this, and then that. Oh, yep, there's- that's not lag, that's- that's my mouse given out. I don't even know if I need to do that. I honestly don't think I need to do that. But hey, we have the cube in there now, so... That's something, right? Yeah, that's all I needed to do. I just needed to get the cube in there. Which did require me to do all the other stuff, but I didn't need to drop it exactly on the button. And oh my gosh, I hate the feeling of not being able to move my mouse. It drives me insane. I've been dealing with it for the past few days, and I need to get it off my mind. Okay. Alright, so now... Now it's pretty trivial. We just use the laser... ...at that... yada yada. Uh, excuse me! What? 
Okay then. I was very close to the dropper. And then we should do this, and we get ourselves a new cube, and then on to the next puzzle. Because this is not the last puzzle. We still got more after this, I hope. Great work! Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. <laughs> this is just so cool looking. It's like the way it looks. Right. Let me move my mouse, please, mouse. Not Windows this time. Oh, it's the end. Alright, well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!